Well, I, I want to have a general discussion about um, supplementation and things like that. One of the, but I also want to tie it into this sirtuin stuff and what's known and unknown yeah. about the biology under the hood. You know, there's a lot of hype around, um, I believe it's called NMN. That's yeah. a popular supplement. Nicotinamide mononucleotide. Yeah. How does that tie into this? Yeah. What's hype and what's real? So so the way it ties in is, I mentioned sirtuins are NAD-dependent deacetylases. So nicotinamide mononucleotide, nicotinamide riboside are the two sort of shiny object NAD precursors, right, that, um, that can in theory boost NAD levels. Niacin can do the same thing. That's just not very exciting because we've known about it for, you know, decades. Um, so these are all things that are in the same metabolic biosynthesis pathway for NAD. In other words, if you take enough of them and you are deficient for NAD, you can NAD. get converted into NAD, at least theoretically. Mm -hmm. and, and NAD goes down with age in general. That is the model that has been put out there. I see. Oh. <laughs> um, so again, this is where and I mean, unfortunately, this is just the reality of I don't think this is unique to the longevity field. I see it most in the longevity field where, you know, there are individuals who publish high profile papers who have a very vested interest in a particular model. And then they publish high profile reviews where they talk about these things as if they are established fact. But they're basically talking about their own work. Yes. Which is one piece of the greater That's body right. of literature. And often, you know, even though it's published, I still think of it, like I said, as kind of preliminary until multiple people have seen the same thing. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And so, I mean, just for those who are listening, you know, when oftentimes when you read a review paper, the reviews are sort of meant to be someone that has been in a field and they are summarizing the full body of yeah. literature about something. But sometimes that gets a little abused. Historically, that's what, that's what reviews were supposed to be. And again, you know, maybe I'm being a little bit Maybe I'm getting a little jaded or something, but I feel like over time that mod, you, those are less and less you see those kinds of reviews. Yeah. What you see now more are perspective reviews. It's the person's perspective, which is fine yeah. if it's labeled as a perspective, but it's labeled as a comprehensive review of my own work, right? Yeah. Which is often what these yeah. things become. Yeah, and like, you know, as, as a grad student or even just someone interested in science, you often go to a review thinking yeah. this is like the, yeah. the objective view of this whole yeah. body of work rather than someone's perspective. Yeah, exactly. So... I think this idea that NAD levels generally decline with age um, is overstated. So I think what's clear is that at least in certain tissues in mice, NAD sometimes declines with age. <laughs> in people, there's very little evidence to support this. 